It took me years to learn the things I'm going to tell you in this video, so you can either waste a bunch of time learning the hard way or watch this five minute video. I use DaVinci Resolve to edit, but these tips will apply to whatever software you use no matter what. One is stop watching your own videos. Like, I know it's fun, but really in the end, you should not be just watching your video over and over again while you're editing it. Like, I don't think you even understand. You'll be sitting over there on the couch or whatever, just, and every time you add a new effect, you restart it and you're like, oh, this is looking so cool. You're wasting a ton of time. Now, you should still watch sections occasionally, you know, to like make sure your effects look good and the stuff you're actually doing in the video all flows together smoothly. But at the end of the day, there's no reason to be sitting there going back to the beginning and playing it all the time. Unless in very specific situations like making a sports edit or something where you need to be watching it over and over again because it's only 30 seconds anyway. All right, so now moving on to number two and it's choose a location that's going to be easy to work in. I would recommend not editing like on a couch because of all the distractions around, usually in environments with couches. Environments with couches, what am I talking about? I mean like a living room. Because here's the thing, your brain will be in different modes depending on what location you're in. If you're on the couch and you're editing, you're used to just like scrolling on the couch. So what are you gonna do when you're on the couch? You're gonna pull out your phone and you're gonna start scrolling. Cause it's the natural thing to do. You either are like watching TV or something or on your laptop or on your phone. You never like do work on a couch, just doing normal things throughout the day. So then if you start editing and you sit down on the couch, it's just gonna feel weird. So that's why I would recommend sitting somewhere like at a table or personally me, a desk. That's actually been a huge benefit of having a desk for me there's just something different about being at a table designated as your workspace and not just being somewhere random in a room full of distractions which actually leads into point three which is to remove distractions like i don't think you realize how little time you're actually spending editing if you're sitting there because you'll feel like you just edited for an hour so then you'll take a break but in reality you edited for like 15 minutes and then you pull out your phone for 30. so removing distractions whatever that means for you whether that be silencing your phone being in a quiet place or just not having a bunch of tabs open while you're doing work only browser tabs with editing assets you need but if you're editing especially if it's something that doesn't come naturally it doesn't feel as much of a hobby it's something that you really need to get done and it's harder then you should really not be in a room with distractions all right quick little break if you guys like the thumbnail to this video and you want your own design for your videos then you can just click the link in the description to Instagram or grab the email I put down there and you can get 50% off your design from the designer of my thumbnail if that sounds like something you're interested in just check the description all right back to the video now number four is actually a more technical tip and it is keyboard shortcuts and why you need to be using them I used to always think like keyboard shortcuts think of like it doesn't really help it can't help that much or it's just too hard to actually start using keyboard shortcuts because you have to map them out find out what works for you but I guarantee it'll be better in the end once I started using them, I just realized how fast it went, like cutting. I could just have my fingers there and I like mapped it out and I could just be clicking away. And then 30 minutes, I'm done with the rough cut of the video. Now with keyboard shortcuts, I can't tell you technically how to use them because I use DaVinci Resolve. You guys probably might use Premiere Pro, CapCut, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro. To be honest, now they're coming out with more. I, I don't know how many editing softwares there are, but just look up a tutorial on how to do it. Usually it's extremely simple and I guarantee it'll pay off in the end. You gotta figure out like if you're at a desk, what position your hands are in. And I know that sounds super weird. Like you're probably thinking, bro, why are you putting your hand? You're not gonna, it doesn't really matter that much. But if you watch a time lapse of you editing and you saw you reaching over for a key, like, 2,000 times in a row, you'd be like, dang, I really should have just put a keyboard shortcut right there. So you should really look up a tutorial to use it in whatever software you have. If you are actually using DaVinci Resolve and say you wanna start learning more, I have a short course linked in the description that will help anybody who's a beginner to learn the basics of DaVinci Resolve. Now number five, we're moving away from the technical points, and this one is don't be a perfectionist. The sad but real truth is you're never gonna be 100% happy with your project. Now you might think you are, you might spend all this time trying and trying, but at the end of the day, you're basically lying to yourself you know that you're not happy with any of your videos completely it's like trying to empty a waterfall by standing under it with a bucket like there's always gonna be more problems coming you fix one another's gonna come fixing that one another's gonna come it's just the way it works you're, if you like what you're doing if you know how to edit you're gonna keep finding things wrong so sometimes you just gotta call it quits hit export and just be done. Then when you watch it again, you're gonna learn from your mistakes, move on to the next project, apply those things, and your videos will continue to get better, but that doesn't mean you won't keep finding problems with them. Because the more they get better, the more knowledge you have, and then the more you're gonna notice things. And when you're a beginner, you would not notice those tiny things you're noticing now. But the reason you're noticing them now is because you fix the big problems, and now you're just focusing on the tiny things. You just gotta learn to try your best and be content with the result, because at the end of the day, you're never gonna be 100% happy with it. The truth is you're gonna make mistakes, and there's no way to completely get rid of all of them. And as hard as it can be, sometimes you just gotta watch the final thing, be okay with that little thing that's making you annoyed, and just go export it. And the truth is, this weird thing where like you'll actually learn more if you finish that project 
look back at the video after and see all the things, and now that there's no turning back, you actually can notice what's wrong with it. Then you can move on to the next project with a clear head, fix all those mistakes, and make some new ones. Bonus tip, save all the hard effects to the end. The way I edit is I kind of just go through and do all the stuff that I know how to do automatically. I can just chop it up, add some color grading, add some text, all that. And then any of the complicated stuff after like, oh, I want to add this weird keyframe zoom and I want to add motion blur and all this stuff in Fusion, or I'm sorry to you Adobe users, After Effects. But just save all that stuff to the end because if you do it in the middle, you're gonna be exhausted by the time the end comes and then to the basic stuff, the fundamentals, the foundation, you're gonna be exhausted and you'll have no brain power left. And then you basically just decorated a piece of junk. Stick to the foundation first, add on top of that after. Looking at how long I've been recording this, I know this is a really short video, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you apply what you've learned in this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.